YouTube, good evening. Happy Thursday night. Coming at you here with a small green light haul here. I didn't get the full set of the uh, Hollywood Series 20, but I did grab three of them that I wanted to show you. Starting with this from Graveyard Cars, 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. This is the nicest 1970 Roadrunner tooling in 1 to 64 scale. The Johnny Lightning isn't quite right. The M2 is okay. The Hot Wheels sucks. This one is on point. Stance is proper. Proportions are proper. It's a great looking casting. And in this particular case... The execution is on point. Even the wheels got the right back shadows. You know, that's something Greenlight has struggled with lately. We got the BF Goodrich radial TA tires on this thing. Very, very nice casting. Probably my all-time favorite muscle car. Very much I like that car. Okay. I also got from Charlie's Angels this 1980 Jeep Wrangler CJ5. Very clean casting. Very nice looking. Some white steelies on this one, full size spare in the back. It's a very simple casting. You can see there all the dash detail, manual transmission. Transparent lensed headlights. Nice matching roll bar. Number 1008. Very, very cool casting here. I have to tell you, these uh, nine cars that I got, for the most part, look really clean. There's one of them that has issues. But otherwise, they look really clean, and it almost seems as if, as if Greenlight is stepping up their game a little bit with the quality control, especially with this next casting because this is a casting that they are notorious for having major issues with and this one just came out fantastic it's probably the nicest Ford F100 that I have look at this truck it's just so nice it's got a really nice weathered look to it nice faded paint with rusted wheels but look at the bed i mean this is what's always been a problem for them with this casting is it always has massive bed tilt and there's very little of that going on with this one got some rust there on the quarter panels You've got the uh, weathering and sun rot across the top of the bed there. I just love this truck. This is from the TV show Supernatural. Even the windshield has some weathering issues. It's a nice roller. Very, very cool. All right, so those are the three from Hollywood 20. I also got a sealed case of Black Bandit 19. So let's go through those. I'll start with this. I've already showed this on the channel. Um, I got this one early, did a wheel swap, but can never have too many Dotsons in your collection. So I'll keep this one stock. This is my favorite Dotson 510 tooling in 1 to 64 scale. 
I think it's better than the M2. It's better than the Hot Wheels. It's not better than the TLV, but I like it better because it's a two-door, although they have a two-door. I would love to see them do a two-door with a really nice lowered look with some nice aftermarket wheels. I love the way the front of the hood came out on this casting. The angle of that hood looks very, very nice. That's a pretty tricky part to get right on this car. There's your engine. You do get your transparent lens taillights that are inserted into the back. This car's weakness is these little wheels. They leave a lot to be desired in my opinion, but the casting is great and so you can build. You know, the wheels is an easy fix. It's not like the 240Z where it's going to take more than some wheels to make that thing look good. Uh, this one here looks awesome, but this one did come with a major factory flaw. This is the 2017 Ford GT. I'm going to have to replace this car. And I'll use this one as a wheel donor or something to that effect. The rear axle is very locked up, log jammed. You can see the tire spinning on the wheel. Here's the factory flaw though. It looks like the car was in an accident. And that is a bummer because it's otherwise a very nice casting. But I do think that base was misspun. Um, another Jeep. This one's a 1970, so this is 10 years earlier than, than the Charlie's Angel Jeep, although it's the same tooling. This one here has the same configuration as the um, the anniversary release of this tooling. Same configuration, same top. But look at the top on this. It has the ripples and wrinkles to simulate an, a real canvas top. It is removable. Um, these wheels look really good in black. You can really see what they're supposed to be. Just a really nice off-road steely. Um, tires don't look the best though. I, I'm not sure about the low profile off-road tires. There's a side-by-side. -side. These are the same tooling even though one is a 1970 and one is a 1980. Never have too many Jeeps in your collection either. Really nice full-size spare. Could just be my imagination, but it looks like the roll bar inside of there is having some issues. But that's okay, because on this particular Jeep, I'm not going to take the top off. A little bit of a wobbly wheel there on the rear, but that's okay. It still looks really good. I really dig that Jeep. I like I like any green light Jeep though. They do a really nice job on the Jeeps. So this one here is pretty awesome. It's a 69 Ford Mustang Trans Am Series Black Bandit Racing Team. This does have the black ghost graphics. At the number eight, there you have the BB, rear quarter panel, black bandit. The wheels on this car are awesome. These are the wheels from the Ford Falcon. First time we've seen these wheels on a Ford Mustang. And I like it. I wish they would put these wheels on a lot of different cars. Very nice looking wheels. And overall, I just think this car has a really nice look to it. Very aggressive looking. 
There's your really nicely detailed back end here. All right, on this next car, I want to touch on something. This is the new uh, GMC Bandura tooling. A couple videos ago, I talked about the Dodge B100 and the Chevy G20 because they have the same tooling number from Greenlight. I did reach out to Greenlight to get clarification on that to see, because I was wondering if it was the same tooling <clears throat> and uh, it is the same exact tooling. So let me uh, read you the response because there is something about it that it's the, it is the same exact tooling, but it's not. So <clears throat> let me uh, pull up their response here. Okay, so I asked them... I just said, uh, hey, just had a question for the green light Dodge B100 and Chevy G20 tooling number GL060 A and B. Are these actually cast from the same tool? Their response was, it's a family mold containing two separate vehicles. So it's basically the same tooling, but it allows you to do two different vehicles with that tooling. They're doing the same thing with this, so it makes me curious what the other tooling is with this, because this is tooling number GL, I think it's 133, and this is version A. So I'm very curious to see what version B is. I'd love to see a Ford van, you know, now that we have uh, Chevy and, and Dodge and now GMC. And these wheels look fantastic. This van, so this is the fourth time that we've seen this van. Came out first as the A-Team van. This is the first time we've seen it without the spoiler and the uh, windshield visor. It first came out in Hollywood as the A-Team van. It then came out in the Hobby Shop series. It's a really nice blue one with a, a clear night. Uh, sky with a howling wolf on the side and then it came out as a hobby exclusive in all white and now it is here in the black bandit and it's coming out again in the hobby shop again and it's going to be like a retro burnt orange copperish color it looks really good like I got to get my hands on that one but uh, anyways so this thing is awesome. It has some retro ghost graphics on it. And you've got the Black Bandit graphics. These vans always roll better than anything else. Nice painted black base. The base on these will always be painted. At least the top part of it will. Because it doubles as the fenders and the side runners. So those are always going to be painted on the top. But that's just a great looking van. You also have the uh, Black Bandit Ghost graphic on the hood. And then, um, as I stated at the beginning, I grabbed a sealed case today of this Black Bandit Series 19. I was fortunate enough to pull a green machine. So here's the final car of the six car set. I'm not going to open it at this time. But it is a 1978 Ford Mustang II King Cobra. And Black Bandit green machines are always the nicest green machines. There's something about the green. I don't know if it's because they do black under it as a base coat. I'm not sure how they get this look, but they're always so much more emerald. So this car, I would probably be open to trading. I'm not real sure yet. 
fairly low number. It's number 76. I wish it was number 78. That would make it really cool. But I'm super happy to find a green machine. That is just awesome. And so with that, that concludes my, my Thursday haul of green light, exclusively green light cars today. Nothing else, just green light. All right, if uh, any of you have any questions, feel free to ask. I know a handful of you don't forget to hit the thumbs down. Uh, one of you, uh, I'm not going to say your name, but you know who you are, you little weasel. Go ahead and leave your little comments so I can delete them. It's been fun. It takes two seconds to delete them, and I'm going to delete every single one you leave. But everybody else, I always appreciate the support. And look forward to hearing your thoughts on these nine cars. You all have a great Friday. Happy hunting. I will holler at the next video.